All right, this will be the focus generic. So to start, Johnny, how do you hope audiences will uh, experience, what, what, what do you hope their experience will be while watching this movie? Uh, my hope for any audience uh, watching come play is um, that they'll just take the ride. Uh, any great thriller or horror film, adventure film, you know, should feel like a ride. And uh, I think kind of, you know, uh, clicking your safety belt and just going for it is, is the way to jump into one of these movies. Um, yeah, I think it has a big heart, um, but it has some big scares. And the combination of those two things is something that I always look for when I'm going to see a film. So I just hope that uh, people will buckle up and uh, take the ride with us. And what was your initial reaction when you first read the script? Was there a specific aspect that made you want to get on board or attracted you most? Yeah, when I when I first read the script, I I, um, I I loved how it was this kind of love letter to um, a lot of the, the the kind of PG oriented uh, scary films that that I grew up with. A lot of the Amblin movies that that I grew up with. I was you know a child of the '80s, and so I I grew up with a lot of those films and. Um, being able to um, be be part of that great legacy in storytelling was very exciting for me. And then I saw the the, the short film that our director Jacob Chase had made about about a year prior to to us signing on to do the feature, and it was so impressive and uh, so so deftly maneuvered and sure-handed that I thought, oh, this is clearly a very exciting filmmaker, somebody to watch and. I love getting in on the, the kind of ground floor with the next wave of filmmaking talent. And that's clearly what we have with Jacob. So all of those factors combined made it a, a, a no brainer for me. And what was it like on set? Are there any favorite memories or specific days of filming that you'd like to share? You know, when we were filming, the, the stuff that I remember the most, weirdly enough, is the the scenes where I was the most isolated. You know, my character uh, works a, a night shift in a in a, um, in a parking garage toll booth, and uh, there's a couple of scenes that that take place on the late the late night where my character is just kind of stuck in this booth, bored out of his skull, and and starting to have some strange commune with this with this online um, entity um, in the film. And those were exciting uh, because it was just kind of piece by piece, the scenes were very broken up. Um, it very much kind of relied on the editing of it, but uh, it was just, you know, me and, and Jacob and the, and the film crew kind of working from about 8 p.m. until, you know, 7 a.m. in the morning until the sun came up and, and we lost the, the dark, you know, cover of night. Um, I don't always like filming scenes where I don't get to work with other actors, but there was something about those nights that I remember. I just remember it being really fun. Um, and, and working with, you know, we, we got to work with a, with a practical effect. Um, you know, our, our, um, our, our main villain in this film, uh, while there are some animated moments and some CGI assistance, um, you know, we had a big massive puppet on set that we got to see and, and touch and interact with. And that's just huge. I mean, that's something that I, that I like as a, as a film goer, but it's something I, I love as an onset actor. And how did you uh, prepare for this role? Were there any special rituals to, to get into character? Any special rituals to get into character? No, you know, I, I just talked through the, um, you know, the, the character with Jacob and he had written a, a very well-rounded, very faulted, um, <laughs> um, but lovely guy that I really related to somebody who uh, is going through a personal issue, but is trying to take care of his family, trying to provide for his family, trying to connect and communicate with his son to, in spite of the communication barriers that they have. Um, so it was really easy to just kind of plug myself into Jacob's writing, which is which is really full and rich and, and wonderful. Are there any key messages that you might hope uh, audience members take away from the film? You know, if, if there is if there's any kind of hidden, um, you know, mission statement or, or meaning to, to be gleaned from from underneath, uh, you know, the script. Um, I think there's something in there about loneliness and that we live in this digital age and uh, everything is at our fingertips. And yet I think that we find ourselves getting more and more disconnected in a way, so to speak. And 
to, to remember that, um, you know, that not all of the answers and, and not all of the friendship uh, and happiness that you're, that you're looking for lies within a, a screen somewhere. Um, I think that that's, uh, it's in there if you, if you want to take it, but you can also just, uh, you know, grab some popcorn and have a good time. And lastly, what was your collaboration like with the other actors, uh, specifically the ones you shared the most scenes with and what the, what was the rehearsal process like? Yeah, you know, we, 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 we kind of jumped in, you know, I, I, I think I was the last to, to come on board for the film. Um, Gillian and, uh, and Eshi were, were already cast when, when I showed up. And so I didn't uh, get a, a ton of rehearsal or, or, you know, research time, but, but I didn't mind. I, I loved just kind of throwing myself into it. And we, we shot it up in, in Toronto and, and I live in New York. So it's a, a, a quick commute for me. So I made a few trips back and forth to film it. But I remember just getting there and um, uh, the producers uh, took us all out to a, a really nice dinner. And I sat next to Eji and we got to kind of just chat and and bond a little bit. And, um, and then the three of us, we just kind of, you know, we just locked in into, into playing this family. It, it, there was something very natural and organic about it. Thank you. And cut. <laughs> 